Hello, how are you this morning? Hi, Lara. I am doing well. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Will you please introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, my name is Shari Joseph. I currently study at the University of the West Indies in Barbados, studying international relations. But due to the pandemic, I am home in Belize in self-isolation. In self-isolation? Yes. Why is that? Um, because I came from a country that is affected by the COVID-19. The government um, requires us to stay in self-isolation for 14 days just to ensure that the people around us are safe. And we don't it. spread it. Yes, yes. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, why did you contact us? Well, last year, my dad got some work done. And he explained to me that you had, he had been cleared of possessions and attachments. And, and the thing is that when I decided to go back to school, I had been experiencing some some things that I did not understand why it was happening. Mm -hmm. And I told my dad, you know what? I probably have some serious karma to be clear. And so when he told me about his experience, I said, you know what? Let me reach out to you, ask for help. Because I know if I don't have to come back in another life, I don't want to. <laughs> right? So I said, let me get some help. Let me get some help. Okay, well, I understand that. So what was your first experience like with the work that was done for you? Well, the first experience, I remember I was in a class and I was having some abnormal headaches. I, um, for the most part of my life, I suffered from migraine, but this particular day, the headaches was different than any other headache that I had ever experienced. And while I was in class, you had sent me a message to ask me how I was feeling. And I told you that it's strange that you messaged me at this time because I'm having some abnormal headaches and um, irregular heartbeat. And I was planning to go to the clinic after class. And then you told me that um, Uncle Ken had seen this so he's going to get some work done and I said okay that's good right and you uh -huh. messaged me again and you said that he's going to get some work done I said I'm at the clinic at the moment and you told me that if the doctor prescribes any medication don't take it and I did not so when okay. I went for the checkup he checked my heart rate pressure everything was normal Right. So he told me, mm -hmm. well, I could go home if I have any ibuprofen or any medication. Let me just take that, which I did not take. I followed the instructions from you. And after the work was done, I was cleared from attachments and possessions and I think entities. And I felt mm -hmm. much better. I felt much better. OK. Mm -hmm. and, and just to be clear. It was suggested that you don't take the medication. It wasn't a flat out, don't take it. It was, I right. recommend you don't take it. Yes. <laughs> Just so people know, we, won't, we don't tell you what to do. We right. only give you the guidance as what is suggested and recommended. All okay. Right. All right. Uh -huh. So what has happened since then? That was your first experience. You started to feel better. And right. That was the first experience. And ever since then, whenever I realized recognize any pain in my body, headaches, I would send you a message and then I would get cleared and I would feel much better. So since okay. then, I haven't really had to visit the doctor, except for when I had that dentist appointment and I was told that I needed to get a root canal. Oh, please you share that story. <laughs> yes. What happened there? Well, the dentist told me that I needed a root canal and it was... I told my dad, you know what, this procedure, I don't think I might need to take this procedure because whenever I have a migraine, I get cleared and mm -hmm. the migraine is no longer there. So I said, well, maybe I will be able to get a heavenly filling. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good way to put it, a heavenly right. filling. I like so, that. But that, that that's, unfortunately, that was not available. But then I was guided and told, I was guided that 
I can get the root canal, but it must be with gold filling. That way, I don't get any kind of poisonous, um, any sort of poisonous, what do you call it? Poisoning po from metal, metal poisoning, poisoning from yeah, metal. Yeah, metal from metal. Yeah, poison from metals. Yes, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. fantastic. So, whatever happened then? I actually haven't had the root canal as yet, and I, with the pandemic, I don't know when I probably will get it. You know. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, sorry, my husband just passed me a note to make okay. sure. I like something. Uh, now, has there ever been a time where you have sent a message requesting help? And thinking that maybe you had to be cleared and that wasn't the case? Yes. This was during the Christmas holidays. I felt as if though there was changes in my behavior. I felt a little bit moody. So I sent a message to you to mm -hmm. get work done, but I was cleared. And so I what happened? that happened twice. Okay. What happened at those well, times then? At those times, Laura, I felt a little stressed. So mm -hmm. I realized that even though I am trying to trust the process of life, it, it becomes hard because I realized that whenever I become stressed, then I would get attachments and entities. And around that time, I felt a little stressed. So I said, let me send a message to you because... Mm -hmm. At this time, I probably have attachments or possessions, mm -hmm. but I was surprised that I did not, uh, that I was cleared at that time. So what did you do to calm yourself down or get rid of that stress? I was doing my decrees. I did my violet flame regularly. I was doing the violet flame regularly. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. very good. Yes. All right. So you've experienced guidance mm -hmm. with your tooth. And right. then you've had a, a lot of, I know, clearings from attachments and possessions, all basically from school, from what it sounds like, yes. and the stress and everything involved there. Have right. you had any healing work done for you? If I've had any healing work done. Right. Yes. Um, I remember I was, oh, oh, geez. Um, <laughs> sorry. If it's sorry. something you don't want to talk about, you don't have to. Um, I believe what would that no that was clearing when I was cleared from curses and hexes right I know you've been cleared from those yes but I thought you had like a pain in your arm or shoulder oh yes yes, oh, yes. right there was a day that I was heading to class and mm -hmm. for no it was exam I had final exam and as soon as I entered this building I had a pain in my back and I don't usually suffer from back aches. So I quickly sent you a message telling you that I have a pain in my back. And as soon as I entered the building, that's when I felt it. And then you, I got that healing work done and you said that it had possessions. I was, some, there was something in the building that had attacked me at that time. Right, right, right. Okay. Yes. Just, I couldn't remember if it was just any healing work, if it was just clearing work or guidance or as healing right. as well. Because so, I remember that it lingered on for a little bit. Yes. And, and Ken had to, my husband had to do some um, relief for you to get rid of some of that pain until it. Right, uh, right, right. So I did get healing done, work done a few times, Sarah. Okay. Yes. Yes. And just, I don't know if you're aware of that as well. Um, a lot of our viewers might not even be aware of it, but a lot of times when, um, there are possessions and attachments and they affect us that strongly where it just seizes our muscles. Even though they're removed, it could take several hours for the effects to go away. So right. in that case, you know, that's when some of that healing work is done to help ease what's been happening. So yes, yes, Laura. Very yeah. cool. Well, thank you for sharing your story. Is there anything else you'd like to share or I, talk I about? I just want to say that getting healing guidance and clearing has been one of life's best prescriptions you know i am thankful for you uncle ken the ascended masters and god for this help that we could get in life i am really thankful yes well thank god all right we will see you another time i might be calling you for another interview
Okay, Laura. All <laughs> right. I was yeah, a good day. Nervous, but thank you. Oh, <laughs> I'm, no worries. I'm happy that I was able to share my experience. And we appreciate you doing so. Yes, Laura. Thank you and have a wonderful day. You do the same.